If there was a vaccine to prevent cancer, would you get vaccinated? Hi, Dr. Mo here. Welcome to another video about sex. If this is your first time here and you wanna join the conversation, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a single video. Would you get vaccinated if you knew the vaccine was scientifically proven to be safe and that it could prevent you from getting cancer? Would I get a vaccine if I knew Yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah, why wouldn't you get a vaccine that prevents cancer? In fact, there are over 100 cancers in the world, but only two vaccines to prevent it. One is the HPV vaccine that prevents human papillomavirus, the virus best known for causing cervical cancer. The other vaccine is for hepatitis B virus, a virus that can cause liver cancer. That's it. So how does the HPV vaccine work? But with vaccines, they're like, they're giving you basically a dormant version of it. So it's like, you're kind of getting it anyway. Mm, to be clear, the HPV vaccine is not a live virus. It's been inactivated. That means that you can't accidentally get an HPV infection or cancer from the vaccine, ever. What does happen when you get vaccinated? Your body creates antibodies to HPV. They hang out forever. If you're exposed to HPV after you've been vaccinated, your body responds by calling up all of those antibodies to fight off HPV infection. Are young women being vaccinated against HPV? Um, I've had a lot of vaccines for like I've been checked for STDs and I've had like vaccines for a lot of different types of diseases. So I should think so. I've had it. Whatever my doctors recommended me, I've taken. Yeah. Okay. Have you had the HPV vaccine? Yes. HPV, yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. So you did not uh, get the HPV vaccine? I did. And yet, because it doesn't cover all strains of HPV, very important to, you know, have your pap smear, and you know get checked every six months if that's what your OBGYN recommends. It turns out that 70 percent of New Yorkers are vaccinated. That's at the high end. The number of people vaccinated varies hugely across the country. If you don't know if you've been vaccinated, ask your parents, ask your doctor, or find out if you can get it now. Most Americans up to age 26 are eligible to be vaccinated. Major side effects include pain, redness, or swelling in the arm where the shot was given, fever, headache, or feeling tired, nausea, muscle, or joint pain. Basically, the symptoms of the common cold. As always, I wanna give a huge thank you to all of the women who share their stories. We couldn't do this without you. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to click on the bell because you deserve to know. Thanks for watching. Sex. <laughs>